And it's raining the vault week, rock vault week on singer Paul Sartino. He's joining us at our several Ooh. tables, our special guest. Oh, it's Hello. a pleasure yeah. to be here. It's so good to see you. Yeah. Ladies, I, yeah. uh, it's amazing. Thank you. And you've been watching you. your friends on the show the past couple oh, of days. Oh, absolutely. You've been recording absolutely. us. Yeah. Absolutely. He's trying to outdo Robin. Can we sh yes. see your yes. shoes? Oh, please? yes. I'll yeah. show oh, you my way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh. oh, are these Louboutins? Oh, nice. Yes. They're Red gorgeous. They actually kind of match making skirts. Yeah, kind yes. of messy now. I got them in black, too. Oh, and they're short. How cute. Hey, yes. You so, now, Robbins could kill people. He has a oh, yes. lot of bikes and yes. stuff. You know? You're right. sexier. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I, I'm the sharp dress man in the show. <laughs> I do the song Sharp Dress Man, so <laughs> I try to live up to my... Uh, image, you know what I mean? Right. I always try to dress sharp. Well, before you became a Vegas headliner, you were also a headliner for several rock bands. Tell some of the guys and gals you've sung with. Well, uh, the first band was a, a band uh, called Rough Cut that was signed to Warner Brothers, and uh, uh, Ted Templeman signed the band who signed Van Halen and Madonna mm -hmm. nice. and those people. And then uh, uh, after that, we were touring in Japan, and um, uh, Quiet Riot uh, just kind of parted ways with their singer Kevin Debro, who was also a Las Vegan right. re uh, uh, resident here right. and actually passed away, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, so grateful to, to actually be a part of the band and uh, so I joined Quiet Riot and uh, we did a couple records together and then I did a bunch of solo things. Uh, and um, Paul Shortino back on track with Jeff Northrup and then um, Recently, in the last uh, three years, I've uh, done a couple albums with a band called King Cobra, and uh, the drummer of that band is uh, the legendary uh, Carmine Apiece, and he uh, played with Vanilla Fudge. He also was Rod Stewart's drummer, who wow. co-wrote If You Think I'm Sexy, Yeah. and we did a remake Sexy. of that, and uh, so I joined the band King Cobra, and we've done two albums. This is the second one here, and uh, the singer of that band... Mark Free decided that he wanted to become a beautiful lady as well. So wow, so it's real he has something in common with Bruce with Jenner. Jenner. Yes, yeah. 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 And so, and what is her name? Uh, his name was Mark Free. Now it is Marcy Free. Marcy Free. So and he's in a band called Unruly yeah. Child. So we've been giving all, so the, all these talks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great name for a great name. for he's an unruly <laughs> child himself. <laughs> But now you're in Raiding the Rock Vault. We're, yes. And you cover all the songs from the 60s, 70s, 80s. It stops at 1989 when mm -hmm. grunge took over. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go from The Who to Bon Jovi and in between. And uh, there are songs like Light My Fire, uh, Some Stones, Honky Tonk Woman. And then we go into uh, the 80s and we do some uh, 70s and Stairway to Heaven, Some Eagles. Uh, we do some medleys of uh, 70 songs, so you get to hear some Boston, some Pink Floyd, yeah. Aerosmith, Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. And then in the 80s, uh, we start out with Living on a Prayer because, oh, you know. Yeah, you have to. Uh, yeah, What's you the know? reaction when you guys, because you, you play live. I mean, this, there's, oh, no, there's tracks no tracks there. This no is all tracks. authentic. When, when you start, what is that response from that emotional response from the crowd? Well, I think they, they don't expect what they're going to see. Nobody expects what they're going to see in this show. They have no idea what, they, because it's, a, it's basically a history lesson mm -hmm. for the young folks. So we've had kids. Educators. Does, we actually have <laughs> had folks and grandparents bring their grandchildren or their children. And for folks that live through those time periods, right. it's just reliving their memories yeah. through that time period because... Behind us on each song, there's screens giving a little bit of wow. education of the band. So it's great for young people to learn about some of the greatest music yeah. in, in, in our history. A genre that never dies and continues to live on. I recently yeah, saw absolutely. Journey in concert. It was one of those real We actually do uh, separate ways in the oh, show, very too. Cool. Very cool. And we've had some of the cast from Journey show up. There you Dee go. Dee Casanova. Well. Yeah, and then we've had Richie Zambora from uh -huh. uh, uh, Bon Jovi show up. And uh, we just finished doing Living on a Prayer. It was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to do it again? <laughs> do I have to sing that? I know it again. <laughs> We're glad you joined us here today. We're going to have you uh, sound off on some trending topics, okay? Oh, awesome. Sounds